All right, welcome to a quick video on some race strategy. Anyway, right, so at the moment in time, basically we are, we were just did a couple sprints, which was nice, just like cruising around, did some sprints. I hit a thousand watts on every sprint, which if you don't know me, is absolutely unbelievable scenes. So I was pretty happy about that. Uh, this is on the odd down circuit track in Bath. I'd never been around this track. Pretty nice one, got a couple sharp corners, uh, did enjoy. So anyway, now what we're doing is basically, right, we had like, well, I guess teams, and then um, basically, so there's guy on the front, and you can't go past him. He's actually Ollie, who um, he was actually in Adelaide, and knows like the usual crew. Uh, but anyway, he was basically just going on the front. No one could overtake him for the first couple laps, and then we basically had like a three-lap race. But it was a bit of an odd one. It was like you needed to keep your team together. The best way to describe it is like a team pursuit in a bunch. So you need to basically finish with three the further the start possible. I mean, it's just a bit of fun. It doesn't didn't really matter. Anyway, so. It was quite a solid day out. I'm with like the University of Bristol, which is where I'm at. The cycling club had these little sessions, so I um I did some intervals before because I was like didn't know how hard it was going to be, and that was a good shout because it wasn't mega hard, but it was good doing some sprint stuff. Um, I definitely feel like my sprints improved a lot by just doing a couple more sprint exercises and going just doing some strength and conditioning every week um for like an hour or so, and that definitely has helped my sprint quite significantly, and also my technique of just like really like spinning it up to like 130 cadence that definitely helps. Anyway, this is one of the tightest corners around the circuit. See, I'm getting gapped here because I'm just being a bit of an idiot. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the only tight one, so you can see I have to do a big search. Um, but yeah, the GoPro footage here, I'm sorry, it, it is quite dreadful, to be honest. Um, the It's just not really in the middle. There's a lot of problems. Basically, I lost the bolt, and it's not really secured well. So I'm sorry at this moment, it's a little bit annoying because you can see the bolt on the left-hand side and my hand on the right-hand side. But anyway, try and ignore those. Uh, we have the speed on the right-hand side, then the cadence, power at the top, heart rate. I'm, I actually am going to get a heart rate monitor, but I have lost mine at the moment. Um, so anyway, this, this guy's still leading out, um, as you do. And then th basically, you'll see, see the old coach on the right-hand side, and then basically when we go past him, it's all time to go. And like, I mean, tactics on this, we you know, didn't really know. But anyway, I basically just wanted to ham myself as much as possible and uh, see what I could do. Uh, as you know, I think we might have one more lap. Oh, yeah, we do have one more lap. Uh, so anyway, we're just cruising around. Odd down circuit, I feel like, is one of those where it's pretty selective just because there's a lot, the, the corners are quite um, sharp, so obviously you decelerate, and it is quite a windy course. So if it's all stretched out in single file, it's easy for there to be splits happening in the peloton. Uh, so I'm excited to race here. There is uh, some races on uh, in December. I think there's about two or three races in December, and then a couple in January, and maybe one or two in February. So it'd be quite good to do those, just you know, get the form back. I feel like at the moment I'm a lot more punching than I used to be just because I'm doing more anaerobic efforts and shorter efforts, which I'm happy about because that's really like, it doesn't really matter what type of ride you are, you, but you have to just make sure you're like super punchy because racing just is that. And um, even if you don't have great like, you know, 20 minute power, if you, as a small rider, you can still be very punchy and compete in these crits. And that is the plan. Um, just because I know like I have a decent acceleration, it's just more like, um, I just don't have a great, like, as in if I was on my own for 20 minutes, there's no way I'd stay away. But, like, swapping turns with other people, I definitely could. Um, there were some other people on the track, but it was all, it was all calm. Uh, if you have raced nod down, let me know what n normally happens. I've heard it basically just, like, nothing, occasionally people would break, but it's generally just a classic, like, uh, race in the UK where, at the lower levels, where basically just, like, everyone stays together and people get spat off the back and it ends up being a bunch sprint. Um... But anyway, again, this corner, you can see I'm getting gapped. I'm not really going in with enough speed and also I'm not really leaning over enough. Um, Pedaling through that corner is a bit sketch. You can do it, but wouldn't be recommended if you're going fast just because, like, you might clip a pedal. I think the bloke ahead of me said he had clipped a pedal and it was not an ideal situation as he ended up on the floor. Uh, we are now coming up to the very final, the final, like, sort of derny lap, I guess you'd call it. Uh, where we're warming up. So I didn't actually realize this vid was so long. I, uh, I, my editing skills have been lacking recently. I'm in a short of time and have not really been concentrating on my editing ability. Um, so yeah, it's not gonna be a world-class edit on this video, unfortunately. But anyway, so here I go. I was like, you know what, boys, girls, everyone, I'm just gonna attack. So boom, he goes, he goes up. He lights up to 950 watts, which to be fair is, is decent. Um, and this moment in time, I was just like, right, well, I just wanna get a gap. Kins up to 125, and I was basically just like, going across the um, track, basically just trying to make sure that no one could draft me that well. Um, I sort of knew I would get caught because there were a couple of people who were like keen and chasing me um, and I don't have that strong of attack. But anyway, hit like 55k an hour, which is actually decent. Around this corner, you can see like, it was all right this corner, but I wasn't lent over enough. You can see I got down to like 33k an hour, which is not ideal. And then you had to sprint back up to speed. So if I took that corner faster, I definitely could have hit it 
like exited at 36 k's an hour, which is the key, key thing. You just have to really like try and really lean in and just like keep your momentum as much as possible. And as soon as you're like slightly banked over, just start pedaling. So anyway, here I'm playing some games, going from one side of the road to the other side of the road because I hope that no one can follow me. I've realized here you can sort of see the shadow behind me that I'm basically going to get caught. So I ease up now and I'm like, right, I'm just going to sit on the back um, and then see what happens. I mean, like our team, there were like, well, team, there were like three of us here, um, apart from the guy in second wheel now, we were like on the same team, if you know what I mean. So I was like, oh, this is a pretty beautiful situation. Um, but there were a couple of blokes who were chasing us from behind, so I think I let this bloke do a little bit of turn. I was like, um, yeah, I'll go back to the front and just sort of drill it. I mean, in reality, like the tactics for this for me were just like, I want to get the best workout possible. So every time I wasn't on the front, I was like, I'm just going to save myself and then just go to the front and absolutely drill it. Around this corner, the guy ahead of me obviously isn't mega good at cornering because I didn't get gapped on that corner. I think obviously if you race this before, you're just you know, more used to the cornering. If you haven't raced it as much, now you can see some people on the left who are trying to chase. So anyway, here I see we're going like 40 k's an hour. I don't know why I had a massive wattage spike there. It didn't really seem to make any sense, but maybe, maybe I was being an idiot and was off the back. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but anyway, you can see at this moment in time, the speed is not mega. And I was like, well... Like, let's just go to the front and just, like, drill it just to see, because, like, I just need to get a workout. Like, that's, that's the thing. There's, there's minimal tactics here. Um, but anyway, you can see here, it, this is actually a slight drag. You can see in 2%, 3%. So, like, it definitely does favor, like, more of, I guess, slightly lighter rider. I mean, really. But it's more like it's just a bit of a hard man sprint. Like, it's not, um, it's, it is more to do with watts. Anyway, I'll, I'll put it up to 500 watts. Get 55 Ks an hour, which is actually, like, I was quite happy I hit 55. I mean, obviously, like... It's not mega, but, you know, it, it's still decent for the young lad. Um, and I was just trying to hold over 400 watts for the whole time and just lead out and see how I, could, how I felt on the flat. I was surprised that, like, my anaerobicness and the climbs actually did. But look at this. Like, the second time I take it, you'll see I only slow down to, like, 37 k's an hour, not 33, because I sort of knew the corner a little bit better, taking it race pace. And that obviously saves a lot of energy because you're already back up to 44 k's an hour here. So on this stretch here, you'll get to see some great head bobbing. Look at that shadow. Look at the bob. The bob is there. And, um, yeah, I'm really just trying to give absolutely everything to just, you know, empty the tank and just kill myself because, like, what else am I going to do? Technically, this is a lead out. It's not a very fast lead out, to be honest, because 430 watts. I mean, it's decent, but it's not like, I mean, if this was a race, like, I'd be getting swamped at this moment in time. Um, but obviously, it's not really a race. Um, and also... Uh, if it was a race, you generally seem to seem to go a little bit faster anyway. Uh, there's just more, more competition. Um, but anyway, again, try and hold 450, 400 watts here, um, 47 k's an hour, um, which is like decent, but obviously it's a slight downhill, so it's not crazy. The wind was coming, I think, from left to right across this thing. Um, so, I, I mean, I don't think anyone really realized that. I, I neither did I, I think, until afterwards. And I was like, oh, yeah, fair enough. Around this corner, again, I was slightly better at taking it, but I still could have taken it a lot wider than I actually did. And then this is basically the last stretch where I was really just trying to give absolutely everything that I had um, and then try and le basically lead out my man. Um, because we did some sprints before and basically the guy behind me called Jamie, he has smacked me in every single sprint um, and I basically came second behind him in every sprint. So I was like, well, we'll give him a lead out, see what happens. But obviously knowing my luck, my pedal unclips, but luckily no one crashed. So around this corner again, you sort of soft pedaling. I, I knew you could pedal around it, but I didn't want to go full. Anyway, launch it up and then here we go, cheerio. My pedal goes about now and luckily no one crashes into me. But yeah, that was it. Decent lead out, and then that bloke just basically takes it on from the front. Quite a fair, a fair way to go. I wanted to try and lead out to about 175 to go, 150 meters to go, but I was I basically left him like 250. But anyway, the man's got a good sprint, so he did win it, and I just cruised home. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy that little like race footage recap. I'm going to have absolutely zero race footage probably for the rest of this year because British Cycling are cunts and don't let me film. But, you know, we'll, we'll give it a go and see what we can do. Uh, but apart from that, uh, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.